the Seatron testing ground in Singapore is almost like a mini town with streets, crosswalks, traffic signals, and even this. This is the bus stop. This is the bus stop. Why call the bus stop? Because we are waiting for the bus, our autonomous vehicle. I'm here for my very first ride in a self-driving shuttle bus. Okay. So you feel like within five years, this will be a regular part of our lives? Yes, in three to five years, this kind of service is actually rolling uh, around the world. How long before I get in my car, I tell my car, take me to work, and it just goes? For that to come, uh, probably another decade. Dr. Dilip Limbu's company, Movita, or Move It Autonomously, is one of around a dozen firms testing vehicles here. Singapore's government wants to use the findings for driverless transport. The goal is to reduce air pollution and chronic heavy traffic. The nerve center of all this innovation is Singapore's Nanyang Technological University, home to the Energy Research Institute and led by Professor Subod Mysol. How long did it take for you to get used to being driven around without a driver? No, I'm, I don't think I'm still ready for it. Well, that's an honest answer. Yeah, it is, it is, it is. <laughs> he says this technology might not be ready just yet, but it's coming much sooner than you think. So in just over a decade, what will our streets look like? You will have a mixed level of traffic between cars that are autonomous able uh, as well as drivers. He says self-driving buses will solve Singapore's bus driver shortage. Robotic street sweepers will work the undesirable graveyard shift. And fully autonomous cars like this BMW equipped with cameras and sensors will give new independence for those who can't drive cities which have an extremely high sophistication of infrastructure would be the first places where the autonomous vehicles would be deployed. Like Singapore. Like Singapore. Self-driving technology still has its limits. A safety driver is necessary on our ride. Uh, um, <laughs> what was that? Oh, the emergency brake. Though this fender bender is a human error. We hit the curb there. That's, this is like me when I was learning how to drive. Developers say that software learns much faster than your average teenage driver, which means in just a few years, you could be sharing the road with a robot. Will Ripley, CNN, Singapore.